The shift to flexible learning utilized by higher education institutions due to COVID-19 has been one of the significant changes, especially for nursing students. Good day, fellow researchers, College of Nursing, and the University of St. Lasalle community. I am Eileen Baroy, and together with me are my group mates, Maverick Aruta, Jill Rose Barazan, Von Castro, and Christian Salas. We are from 3A Group 1B presenting our research paper entitled, Condu- of nursing students to learning environment during the virtual learning. With COVID-19, remote learning in all forms became necessary to facilities for education. Thus, investigating its impact on the learning process of nursing students is essential. The purpose of this study is to discover whether this shift in the profile variables type of geographical area, connectivity category, physical space, and gadgets used during online class truly affect the student's productivity, performance, and support system so that this study may serve as a guide for improved means in making the nursing students' environment conducive to learning according to their environment at home. For the objectives, the study aimed to determine the conduciveness of nursing students' learning environment in virtual learning. Specifically, the study sought to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the profile of level three nursing students in terms of the following? Type of geographical area, connectivity category, physical space, and gadgets used during online class. Number two, what is the level of conduciveness of nursing students' learning environment in virtual learning in terms of the following? Students' productivity, students' performance, and student support system. Lastly, is there a significant relationship between the level of conduciveness of nursing learning environment aspects in terms of the following aspects and the aforementioned profile variables? Students' productivity, students' performance, and student support system. To discuss the methods of our research, the study utilized a quantitative descriptive research design which answered descriptive research questions using numerical data to effectively describe the results of the study's participants and aid in expounding the relationship between the level of conduciveness and the profile variables. For the participants, they should be a bona fide student of the nursing school for the academic year 2021 to 2022, should belong to level 3, and lastly from section A to G. The total population is 268. Then, Yamane's formula was used to solve the sample size with a 5% margin of error resulting in 160 participants. To narrow it down, probability sampling technique, specifically simple random sampling using table of random digits was used. The distribution formula was utilized by dividing 268 by 160, resulting in two. Thus, every second individual was chosen. In total, there were now 162 participants as a plus one or minus one was observed. The instrument used for all three objectives was a researcher-made questionnaire consisting of two major parts, first participant's profile and second, a level of conduciveness of nursing students' learning environment in virtual learning. The type of geographical area, connectivity category, physical space, and gadget questions established the first part. The second part consisted of close-ended negative questions about the participants' level of conduciveness in virtual learning in terms of students' productivity, performance, and support support system. Gooden's case validity test was used to evaluate the questionnaire, critiqued by three research experts scoring 4.92, 4.85, and 4.85. Reliability testing was done through Cronbach's alpha coefficient scoring 0.875. To highlight the results of this study, please refer to the illustrations on the video. In terms of the frequency and percentage distribution of the profile of the level 3 nursing students, the majority live in urban areas, have a connectivity category of 2A with limited connectivity and laptop and desktop have a physical space of which translates to a personal room with a study space away from noise destructions, a study table, and a good lighting for studying. 
the gadgets used were both laptops and cell phones. In terms of the level of conduciveness of nursing students' learning environment and virtual learning, the variables, students' productivity, performance, and support system all resulted in a conducive learning environment. Students' productivity with a mean of 3.35 and a standard deviation of 0.68. Students' performance with a mean of 3.27 and a standard deviation of 0.71. And student support system with a mean of 2.78 and a standard deviation of 0 0.71. Lastly, in terms of the significant relationship between the level of conduciveness of the nursing learning environment aspects and the aforementioned profile variables, there is a significant relationship to all profile variables namely, type of geographical area, connectivity category, physical space, and gadgets used during online class under students' productivity, performance, and support system. However, there is an exception as the geographical area's frequency under students' performance show that there is no significant relationship. With these findings, the researchers conclude that the level 3 nursing students of one of the nursing schools in Negros Occidental has a conducive learning environment during the virtual learning. This study may be of significance to the nursing education as it composed of the information that aids the readers in understanding the difficulties of the nursing students especially after the shift to virtual learning. This may help provide solutions to the affected beneficiaries of society as well. Thus, future researchers have the vital task of identifying new and improved strategies that can assist nursing students in coping should virtual learning continue. Based on the outcomes of this study, the following recommendations were made. Nursing school administrators may advocate for improved technology and may create programs that address the lack of internet, particularly for students residing in rural areas. Clinical instructors may regularly give feedback and interact with their students so they will remain engaged in both asynchronous and synchronous classes. Nursing students are recommended to have access to a good internet connection or have sufficient mobile data to participate in online classes fully. Parents may be involved in arranging their children's learning environment and provide the needed support. Lastly, future researchers may study the conduciveness of the learning environment of nursing students from different year levels and expand their scope to other nursing schools in the city to reach larger sample sizes. They can also opt to add a study about hybrid or blended learning as this may be a great comparison as we slowly transition to another setup. To access the study's references, you may scan the QR code on our poster. Thus, this would be all for our research paper entitled Conduciveness of Nursing Students' Learning Environment During the Virtual Learning. Once again, good day and thank you for watching.